Before I jump into the main topic, here is an important detail. If you are preparing for a tech role, then you must choose a solid career track. Visit sandfoundry.com slash training to know more. Uh, dear friends, uh, this particular example uh, is a very good example. That's a combination of multiple rules in C programming language. Okay. So here what you see is I am going to have three different evaluation of almost same expression, right? You can see that we have i, j and k variables, right? These three variables, we are playing around with these three variables, you know, in terms of uh, division and multiplication uh, with numbers, right? And uh, what you also see is that we have some variation. So you can see uh, we have 13, 5, 4, and then 13.0, 5, 4, and then again 13, 5, and 4.0, right? So what you see in this example is uh, if you are a very uh, casual uh, programmer, you might uh, decide that all three are same, right? I have seen a lot of people look into the code very casually and they say, I know the answer, right? Basically, yeah, it's fine. It might be true for some cases, but here you will get very different answers because we have to really understand the programming language rules, order of evaluation, operator precedence and associativity, right? So multiple things come into play in these kind of expressions, right? So. At this point of time, uh, I think you should definitely now uh, pause this video, analyze the code, right? Analysis is really important, you know, try to understand. I have been doing a lot of videos for, you know, for you. So look into some of these understanding that you have developed. So analyze the code and then you should run the code. Okay. So I'm going to cover all three of these in uh, good detail now in the lab exercise. So have your answers ready. And if you have a doubt, you can look into the lab exercise where I'm going to give you the demo for all three of them. Okay, so let's uh, go into the lab and then I will explain it uh, much more there in the lab. So here we have the code. So we have I, J and K. Uh, so we are evaluating this with almost same or similar values, right? Okay, so let's run the code now. So I'm compiling, compilation is successful. There is no other issue, right? So you might see slightly different outcomes, right? Okay, so in the first case, you got eight. So the value of I is eight. The value of j is not 8, it is 10. And then the value of k is still 8, right? So we need to understand what's going on, right? So let me just go into the explanation uh, portion now, okay? Yeah. So I have created a block, right? So the first thing is, let's look into this, right? Okay, see, we have to understand couple of things here because as human beings, we can understand what is written, okay? But compilers have to be told how to evaluate an expression. For many of you, you know, this looks, I think, very simple, uh, like a common sense example, okay? However, we have to tell compiler please evaluate the expression with certain rules actually and that is very important okay so the first question is in this particular expression how many operators are there right how many operators right so if you see there are three of them then equal to is one which is an assignment operator then you have a div which is a slash and then you have an asterisk which is a multiply right so there are three operators so the operator precedence have to be looked into. So I think conventionally, we always know that that equal to has a lowest precedence. So generally, we don't worry so much about it. But look into the right side of this assignment, right? Right side of this assignment operation has two operators, right? Now, if it is a two operator, 
and then you have a div and a multiplication both are at the same level so if operator have the same precedence then we have the rules of associativity to further um, inform tell the compiler that follow the rules of associativity in this case we have two choices think about it right as a designer and developer of a compiler itself right not compiler a designer of a developer of your programming language suppose you are creating a new programming language there is an ambiguity now how do we evaluate this expression will it be like this is one choice or will it be like this as another choice right so i repeat as human beings uh, we we will have one we will have one well known direction that we should evaluate in certain order or style okay but for a compiler it is not the case you have to inform you have to tell you have to tell that you know do it like this actually okay so compiler has two choices do this or do this and based on that you will have a different answer since you have already seen the answer is you know eight actually so you might be biased you know saying that yeah it is very simple but it's not simple for compiler right so in this specific case where you have div and then multiply right so the rules of associativity is always from the left to right left to right l to r right so we have told the compiler that in this kind of ambiguity or in this kind of confusion it's l to r this is the rules of associativity which means that put the bracket first on the left hand side guy right so between these two with the same level take the left left guy and then put a bracket so evaluate this first right i think if you understand this then more than 50% of the job is over but another rule will come in you know when you look into uh, j and k okay so let's look into this now since uh, this is the correct one as as we discussed now right this is the correct one as we now know so we know that 13 uh, div 5 so it is these are integer values integer values means means we have you know the quotient and the remainder so remainder or the so called modulo right that that goes for a toss so this is nothing but 2 13 div 5 is 2 because of integer value right so this is 2 2 multiply by 4 right so this is same as this is this is same as 2 multiply by 4 equals to that i know many of you know uh, fully uh, the answer for this but the objective was to explain you uh, quite more about compiler dilemma how to solve the problem right now let's look further because the second one is slightly more interesting okay because this has additional roles or rules to play with actually okay so here also as part of the evaluation right yeah compiler has to put the bracket so we know that the bracket is this only means there is no other choice right so this is the bracket right now the interesting thing here is this putting a dot zero right will make things more complex actually so in terms of language generally in compiler grammars right whenever you have any operator you require operands of the same type and then the lower operand will be promoted to a higher operand generally right so this is a floating point like a double guy as i told you this is more like a double okay and this is an integer so the integer gets promoted to double right so if i have to note down int gets promoted to double and the result of that answer also the result of the evaluation so 13.0 divided by 5 you know so now we have double double so double div double right so the answer is a double right? so the result of that operation is also a double which is obviously uh, some of you already know it is 2.6 so when you multiply 13 by 5 it is uh, 2.6 and then so this is double so the evaluation itself is a double multiply by another integer so this also gets promoted to a double okay that is important to know important to know if you want to know how things work otherwise you pretty much know the answer okay so the final answer for this outcome if you see multiplication i repeat this four is also a double now right okay this is double because 
the operand should be same data type right so the outcome multiply 2.6 into 4 is how much it is basically 10.4 right yeah so this is 10.4 which is the double now what's happening now see we want to store we want to store 10.4 into j so the answer should be 10.4 right okay but what is j j is a integer so what we are doing is now we are downgrading right so we are storing we are storing a double into a integer so truncation will happen in terms of that fractional value so finally the value of j will become 10 right so if you see the entire sequence from here the way you know i have tried to tell you right so the objective here is not to understand what is the answer for this simple question the objective is to understand how things are going on behind the scenes and uh, you will see that uh, when you try to do a simple expression uh, evaluation like uh, it's pretty simple like this expression right lot of things come into play and then finally you get your uh, desired outcome right so j equal to 10 so i hope you understood this part right so and that is why you saw the answer for i was 8 and then j is 10 here right let's move into this because since i have explained about i and j this is going to be a very trivial a simple task for you know for people who are still watching this video okay uh, so if i take this k equals to this right so let's focus on k now okay so so the first thing as part of this guideline what i told you the first thing is the so-called bracketing. Bracketing will make our understanding easy and you know that's how compiler will do. So if you see that both of these are integer only right. So there is no ambiguity. So this is just like an integer result. So the result of 13 by 5 is absolutely 2 now. It's an integer right. So we are doing an integer div. So this is 2 which is nothing but an integer value. And then you are doing a multiplier. It's a it's basically a multiplier, right? Okay. And you're doing with 4.0. What is 4.0? 4.0 is a double now. So automatically compiler has to now promote. You have a double, you have an integer. So this has to be <coughs> this has to be promoted to a double. Since it is 2, it becomes like it becomes like 2.0. So final answer is basically your 8.0 so this is a double number right this is i repeat this is double so double has to be stored into an integer what is k k is an integer so some sort of truncation happens right so double is a large entity it has to be saved into k so we get a truncation and we finally get the value of k as 8 right so again there are a lot of things happen slowly behind the scenes but we need to understand it right if you are able to understand it and especially for c language right because we are very close to the hardware we are very close to a lot of system specific things right so we need to really uh, understand most of these you know as part of programming language so uh, i think that's the summary for this particular uh, discussion right I hope you like this uh, video and I will see you in uh, another class.